You know, it, it was great to see uh, four guys in double figures. We only had one in our exhibition game. You know, Alec was tremendous in, in that game. You know, he's tremendous tonight and um, it led us um, very efficient uh, uh, from the floor. Um, thought David, you know, his two threes were big in the second half and, uh, and his seven rebounds. Um, David had a great off season, and uh, it's nice to see his hard work uh, paying off in this first game. Uh, for our team to be successful, we're going to need more guys to, to score than just one or two. So, so the four guys was um, was exciting for, for the coaching staff to be able to get four guys in double figures. Um, was happy with our rebounding effort. Thought we uh, went to the went to the glass hard on uh, on both ends. Um, uh, IPFW does a great job on offense, spreading it out and, and, and really attacking and moving the ball. And uh, I thought their ball movement um, gave us some problems. And um, you know they, they shot 44%, which is a uh, is a, is a good percent, so you know, I thought they were very effective with what they wanted to do. Um, you know, there's obviously things I was happy with our team, and then some things you know, that we need to continue to work on to get better. David, can you touch on that stretch there? I think it was tied 40 40, and then you guys, uh, coach called timeout, you went back in the game, you guys rattled off 10 points very quickly, a couple three pointers. Just, uh, what is it about this, this team that allows you guys to kind of score really quickly in chunks like that? I think uh, the depth of our team, like I read, like. Uh, no matter who is on the court, we always going 100%. And, uh, and uh, that's it. Alec, like another situation where, um, you know, similar to the exhibition game, the team kind of hung around that opposition did, but you never really let them take control of the game. Um, so I guess talk about the effort that you guys gave to make sure you were almost always in control tonight. You know, it's a learning point. I think that uh, at some point you got to be able to, you know, kind of put your foot on the gas and. Take a team and blow them out, and uh, we'll learn that. You know, we're, we're we're getting there, and we need to, you know, take the last two games. We need to kind of learn that idea. But you know, we never, you know, we never quit. We don't, you know, give in to the pressure of being tied in a game like that. We stick to what we do best, and that's you know, rebound and play defense, and you know, that's what we ended up doing in stretches, and it helped us out in the end. David, where do you think you made the most tries this season compared to last season? What do you think you made the most improvement from last season to this season? I think just the experience, you know, a year of playing college basketball helped me a lot. It's my sophomore year, so first year was a lot of adjustment to the game, the pace of speed, and the speed and the pace of the game. So I think this year I feel more confident. Coach, you guys are to talk. I mean, this is this year's team. You're done with last year. You got to come. You got to do the whole banner thing and all of that. Is that just? A necessary distraction at the beginning of the game, and are you guys ready to, to close the door on that and move forward? No, no. I, I think uh, you know the, the banner is, uh, is 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 a great thing. You know, for for our program, it's a great thing for for the guys who achieved it, and um, you know, it's something that, that that team will be able to come back years from now and um, be able to look at and know that they achieved that. So no, it's a it's a it's a great you know honor for these guys. Anything you got from uh, Jim Grill tonight? Obviously, important visual tonight. Vasheel's fouls from the line, Derek being out. Just uh, Jabril's performance tonight? Yeah, Jabril was excellent. We didn't expect, you know, Vasheel to go out that, that quick with fouls. And, um, you know, thought, thought Jabril played a lot of minutes and some long stretches there. And um, did a really good job um, attacking the rim. I'm also rebounding, you know, got seven rebounds. And so, um, like David, he, he had an excellent summer um, and, and really improved over the summer. Alec, you know, 115 free throws last year. I think you figured you'd probably have more. Um, 10 tonight. Uh, how key is it for you guys to convert when you get to the line? It's you know a huge. It's gonna win. It can win you games. You know, obviously a lot of people you know use that kind of you know phrase that free throws are gonna win you games. And I think we as a team need to shoot better than 65 percent. And uh, you know with the new rules this year, a lot of hand checks, a lot of you know fouls for grabbing, a lot of away from the ball fouls and it's going to be a huge thing in just about every game this year is we can knock down free throws and we need to be a team that you know can be upwards in the 70 percent instead of down in the 60s. Coach, what's Derek's status? Um, you know right now he, he won't be pressing. Um, we're going to get one more evaluation and, and then um, make a decision come after the weekend but he won't dress Sunday either. Like a long-term decision or? It uh, could be yeah yeah we just want to get some more information and make sure we have Good decision. Don't make a good decision. How much does that change? I mean, just in, in the interim right now, with Jabril having to, you know, if a shield comes out, Jabril slide in there. What does it do for Alec and what he's going to do for? 
Uh, you, you know, the great thing is, um, you know, those guys played a lot together last year, so Jabril and Alec are very familiar playing together. You know, I thought, you know, David slipped over to the four a little bit tonight and did a really good job for us um, at the four. And so uh, I think the familiarity, you know, helped in that situation with the shield having to go. And, and Derek was playing excellent. And, um, you know, depending on what happens, um, you know, if he can play, it would be great and help us. If, if not, then, then you know, um, these guys have experience together. You had 10 steals tonight. And, I mean, you really had, I think Jabril's the only guy who played more than 10 minutes who didn't have a steal. How nice to see the balance of everyone being disruptive on defense. You know, I, I thought the guys did a great job with um, with their with their hands, getting their hands on some balls, and then rotating. And they just made some good reads um, on some passes. So uh, it's just good instinctive plays the guys were making. Alec, how nice it feels to get out there playing in the comedy again? Well, you know, it feels great to get that you know first step over with and quick turnaround. We have to realize that we have a game on Sunday, so. You know, we can, you know, look at the box score, we can look at, you know, what we did tonight, but, you know, come to, come as soon as we wake up tomorrow morning, it's, uh, it's on to Iona. So it's always, it's always nice because only half the teams can start 1-0, you know, and we're one of those, we're one of those teams right now. Coach, I have the shot, nine, or shot 40% from downtown. Was, was it just them hitting, or were you guys happy with the way you guys did this? Uh, you, you know, um, I, mean, I thought they hit some tough shots on a lot of those. Our guys were there um, contesting. They got them off quick. Um, there were a couple that, that, that we didn't um, rotate as quick as we needed to. But uh, for the most part, I thought they shot the ball well. Bryce, Shane's first game, fishing game, without new phones. Your impressions busy tonight? I thought he gave us um, some great energy and um, had, had some nice um, you know, bursts on the offensive end going coast to coast with the ball. And so um, hopefully the the more games, the more familiar he'll get, and um, and his rhythm will get even better with the guys. Max had a stretch where he had two really nice assists back to back in the first half. Um, a lot of the guys have said that he's the player that's really taken some big strides forward. Um, just what did you see from him tonight? You know, Max uh, played really well in the exhibition game, and, and you know, just what you said, he gave us a great uh, burst, especially in that first half. Um, and then on the defensive end, you know, their, their guards were very good. And um, you know he kept um, he kept the energy up on the defense end to make their guards work. Your, your quick impressions of Iona, just your, your take on their team. Well, you know, going off last year, they're you know in their 53 RPI, won 26 games, and you know, have everyone back except one. So um, you know they're they're a, they're an excellent team.